ikke lenge, så kommer vi, altså jeg, noen de spurte meg fra Oslo, hva er det du driver med? Så sier jeg, jeg skal møte Elvis. Nei, enda større, jeg skal møte Kantona. Her på Rosfjord Hotel i Lyngdal er da Erik Kantona på besøk, og det er jo en fantastisk stemning blant supporterne når de får møte sin store held fra 90-tallet. Og en til deg som er her for å hylle kongen selv er Alex Rosén. Og Alex, dette her var fantastisk å møte Erik Kantona. Ja, det var noe av det største jeg har opplevd, faktisk. Jeg vil si at det å møte Erik Cantona er så vanskelig at når først og fremst det er en mulighet å få det til, noe jeg aldri trodde jeg skulle få til i hele mitt liv, så var det bare å gripe den med begge hender. Jeg ville møte min helt, jeg ville møte den eneste fotballkunstneren som har vært i verden. Når kunstneren skulle komme, da måtte jeg møte den. Det var en stor feeling. Hva er det som jeg synger? Min navn er Therese Wade. Uh, it's great when they sing songs for United or for other players. Everything it's, uh, it's coming, I can feel that it's coming from, uh, from the heart and uh, the, the vibes are unbelievable. It's, 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 it's always great. You can, you can feel passion from the fans. Yes. It's really good. Yeah, it's why we all love this club. Alex, du har ventet i så cirka 22 år på å møte Cantona, siden du prøvde å gi noe en Henning Olsen i C1997. Det svarte til forventningene litt her. Ja, veldig. Ja, det var et utrolig høre på. Det intervjuet var helt nydelig, og Cantona svarte sånn som Cantona pleier å gjøre. Men han, han åpnet seg. Han snakket om varme ting, om... Du skjønte at Cantona var en fyr med et skikkelig familieliv, og han hadde masse verdier da, som jeg ikke hadde egentlig regnet med. Jeg hadde kanskje regnet med, med det, men det var allikevel overraskende. Så jeg ble veldig imponert av Cantona, og han er en stor mann. Det er en grunn til at han blir kalt konge. Han er ikke bare en stor fotballspiller, men han er også en kunstner. Jeg vet ikke hva jeg så på Cantona mens jeg pratet om solskjær og sånn. Og så var det det som så jeg Cantona flire, ikke sant? Han syntes det var fønne. Og da måtte jeg jo synge Glory, Glory, Halleluja, som ble Glory, Glory, Man United. You talked to Cantona about a lot of things that he never talks about. Yeah. He was actually opening himself. Yeah, yeah. Especially when it came to the future of Manchester United. Yeah. And also his speeches, which are historical. Well, that's why I thought that was good to mention, because I thought sometimes with Eric, because Eric's deep. Like, if, you, if I interview a player, a lot of a player, sometimes you, you, you know what they're going to say, the answer. You do, don't you know his interview, you know. Yeah. But with Eric... He thinks beyond, beyond that, and he does it different, which is good, because you don't get to say, so you think, anyone else you know, you, you can think you know he's going to say this. The best thing about it was, was the presenter was going, you know, and he went into the crowd, and the crowd were going like that, and Messi and Ronaldo were like, yeah. like that. And, that, and, and that, me and Eric were laughing about it, because about, that was the funniest thing, see Messi and Ronaldo's face. Yeah, like a... <laughs> it doesn't get much right, I mean, yeah. It was great to 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 see uh, Pete, which, which is a friend, and uh, yeah, to share to share a moment uh, together. It was a lot, like a conversation uh, in front of uh, a lot of fans. And, uh, it was a great feeling. How has Lundal been for you uh, this weekend, Pete? This place is something. It's a, it's a small place, but it's scenic. It's on the southern tip. I, I, I love it. I mean, it's been brilliant. I mean. John Eric and his family have been fantastic. Going to the house, it's a kind of museum. And, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable to, to find this kind of, uh, of of love of this club. Uh, you can feel the, all the air, air the passion for the for this club. All the the game he saw and uh, all the travel and. and, the, and, the, and the, Happiness and uh, sadness, uh, because victory or, or, or you lose. It's, un it's unbelievable. We feel the we feel the soul mm. of the club here and the soul of Tananri also. So it's a wonderful place. We also f feel the, the positive vibes. Lyngdal er helt fantastisk. Jeg har spilt i alle steder i hele Norge. Jeg har opptrådt overalt. Dette var min første gang i Lyngdal. Dette er et bitte lite sted langt sør i landet. Og for å oppleve Lyngdal på den måten, og møte Cantona og sånn, det betyr at jeg aldri kommer til å glemme Lyngdal. Så, Lyngdal, tusen takk. Ja, det var bra å komme her i Norge, i Lyngdal, som er en 
very small city, but a wonderful city. This region is um, unbelievable. Boring, no? I want to come back with my family. Getting up and doing an impromptu Eric the King song after your great video which you liked, and then seeing seeing these two brothers videoing it and Eric clapping along to me singing, and I think I thought, wow. <laughs>